Greetings everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Feel free to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification link to receive notifications on recent videos that I upload to this channel. Also hit the like button. If you want, you can follow or add me on Facebook at Tony Fast Hands Harvin. That's T-O-N-Y space F-A-S-T-H-A-N-D-Z space H-A-R V-I-N or type in my email to my primary personal page which is boxer T-O-N-Y H-A-R-V-I-N at gmail.com that's B-O-X-E-R T-O-N-Y H-A-R-V-I-N at gmail.com I am also on Instagram not as much at Tony Fast Hands Harvard this video here is on a Brooklyn New York pastor by the name of Matthew Gibson who was arrested recently of this year of 2019 for sexually abusing his own daughter for several years. Matthew Gibson has been charged with criminal sexual abuse and forcible touching of a female victim between the ages of 9 and 14. Mr. Gibson of the Progressive Baptist Church in Bedford-Stuyvesant, which is in Brooklyn, New York, is accused of repeatedly raping his own 14-year-old daughter on the church's grounds since 2012, right after her mother passed away. Gibson's daughter recently told her assistant-in-law, Maya Maples, about the rape, in which was reported. According to Maples, her husband, the girl's older brother, has full custody of the teen and her twin brother. After their mother died seven years ago, he became the sibling's guardian while their father, the accused pastor, was granted visitations every other weekend. Maples first learned of the alleged abuse one day when the teen came home from school and appeared distressed. When Maples asked what was wrong, the girl blurted out that the pastor sexually assaulted her. Maples told in a viral video, Maples tearfully detailed the rape claims and also accused the church's bishop, Ben Gibson, of sexually assaulting other young women. So, um, okay, so in 2012, my husband's mother passed away. Um, he had uh, three three younger siblings. One of them were about 14 and then he had a younger set of twin siblings, a little boy and a little girl. Um, you know, without getting into like the legal part of it, um, he was granted sole guardianship, sole custody of kids. He's been raising them ever since 2012, okay? Um, as he was in court, the father of the twins um, is a registered sex offender. He's been arrested for uh, having sex with an underage child uh, at the age of 14, I think the little girl was, when he got caught. He got caught with a little girl in a movie theater um, having sex with her. He was arrested, sent to jail. Um, I'm not even going to get on the bishop yet. I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk about Matthew Gibson, which is Amani's father. Um, so my husband is raising his siblings, and the court grants the father of the twins visitation every other weekend um despite numerous trips down to the court for him being verbally abusive physically abusive to the kids the court still denied us uh, a stop visit order like they still continue to tell my husband you have to subject the kids to this man you have to give the kids over to him there's no way that we can stop his order like the, the system just failed us and if he they, they failed Armani um, <clears throat> so my husband and I repeatedly went down to the court several times about this man being physically and emotionally verbally abusive to both of these babies the court did absolutely nothing they did nothing so <clears throat> make a long story short for the last seven years we've been raising these kids together the families help you know we we've been raising these twins <clears throat> um wednesday night amani came home from school because i do ha i do have her permission i do have my husband's permission my husband's little sister came home from school and she just didn't seem right. So, you know, we're asking our money, are you okay? Is everything fine? You know, you having a bad day? She was bothered by her day. And long story short, she told us that she had a problem with boys. She didn't like boys. She didn't want anything to do with them. And so when I asked her why, she said, because of my dad. So we said, um, okay, wh why, why because of your dad? What happened? And she just blurted out to us that for the past, I, I don't even want to speak it, um, however many years, um, 
he has been taking her after church on Sundays during his weekend visitation. He's been taking this baby into the bathroom in the church, raping her. Um, in the backyard of the church, raping her. Inside of the choir room, raping her. And we had no idea that this was happening. I'm so angry because many times we went to the court and the court did nothing. They did nothing. They did absolutely nothing. So this man continued to rape this baby over and over again for the, for years. And the court did nothing. They did, they did nothing. They did, they did nothing. Um... They did nothing to protect this girl any time every time we've went and try to fight for his visitation to be suspended the court failed us they failed us so we realized we found out on wednesday night that this man has been molesting his daughter which is my husband's baby sister who is now 14 he he had been molesting her since she was eight right after her mother passed away this is what the man was doing to his own daughter so I decided because this was taking place in a church where the bishop of that church was not only a rapist also, um, he had also molested his own daughter. He had been raping his daughter, his daughter. So I know we know that there are other victims. We know that there are other people, other women, other little girls, other children that were subjected to both of these men. So I need everybody's help. I have never ever done a live like this. I've never ever 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 asked something of you guys so more serious than this. I need everyone's support. I need you guys to stay here. I need you to share this live out because I need everyone to see this because we're hoping that with us bringing this out before the public that somebody else will come forward. Um matthew has been arrested the father her father has been arrested he he's been charged um we actually has him, have him on a recording admitting to everything um we need to bring that bishop down because church should be a place of worship church should be a place of prayer and healing and restoration church is not not being used for what it's supposed to be used for Church has now become a place of fashion. Church has become a place of dating where people are coming and are preying on different people. It is not being used for what it was intended to be used for. And I am sick of it. I am sick of it. And I, I don't I know that I'll probably receive backlash because it's the church. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I am sick of it. I am sick of the church being used for what it's not meant to be used used for i'm just sick of it i am sick of it that place is not a church it is a place of torture for children and for years this has been going on and it needs to be shut down so i am coming to the state i am coming to new york city i am coming to the councilmen's i am coming to the senators of this district i am coming to you and i am asking on behalf of this baby and this family that you close this church down because it is not being used as a place of worship it is not being used for what it was meant to be used for it is being used as a place to lure children to be molested and to be raped and i am sick of it i am so sick of it i can imagine all of the victims all across the world that have been molested and raped by people in the church and it doesn't make no sense for someone to proclaim christ and to proclaim that you are a god-fearing person and do something like this i am so angry i am so angry i am so angry and i just cannot believe that this is the type of things that are happening in the house of god i cannot believe it I am so enraged. I am so disgusted. I am so disgusted. I am so disgusted. This baby was an usher in the church. She came to usher and was being raped in the church by her own father.
father. Matthew Gibson and the pastor, the bishop, his name is Ben T. Gibson. The church is Progressive Baptist Church, 293 Howard Avenue, Brooklyn, New York. This, the bishop was raping his daughter. He's been raping women in the church. He's been raping little girls in the church. There was a child that had a baby and they thought that the baby was the bishop's because this man has used his calling to lure little girls and young girls to have sex with him. And now the, the son of this bishop was raping his own daughter, which is my husband's baby sister. And we've been raising this baby and she's been raped for years and we had no idea. We had no idea because she didn't tell us. And I'm so devastated. So I pray, I pray that you guys talk to your children. Talk to your nieces, talk to your nephews, talk to your grandchildren, talk to your cousins. Because this type of stuff has been happening in the churches for years. And no one is speaking out about it. No one is speaking out about it. They're just allowing this stuff to go on and cover it up. And they're just messing kids' lives up. The messing kids' lives up. Babies should not be subjected to sexual abuse from anyone, especially their own father or someone in the church. Kids should feel safe in the church. The church should be somewhere that the baby should feel safe to come and to grow up and know about the goodness of the Lord. Not to be raped and not to become victims of sexual, sexual crimes. I will not sleep. I will not rest until a bulldozer goes into that building. That place is not a church. I don't want to hear nobody writing in my inbox. I will let you have it. I'm not playing around. I will block you. I will let you have it. You cannot defend a church building. Not the church as a whole. You cannot defend a church building. You cannot defend this. It is wrong. I watched the way people responded to this R. Kelly stuff. And I can't believe it. It doesn't matter how you feel about those little girls, if they were fat, whatever. They did not deserve to they did not deserve to be violated in that way. No one deserves to be violated in that way. This is my husband's baby sister, and we've been raising this baby for years, and she's been raped every other weekend in the church for over four years. Every other weekend. Where was the deacons? Where was the youth leaders? Where were people? Dude, they didn't even know that this was happening to her. Whoa. I'm so hurt. I am so hurt for her. I am so hurt for her. Please. I need everybody sharing this video out. Please, please, please. I am begging you. Please. Please tell everybody you know. This is my husband's baby, baby sister. Oh my god. This is my husband's baby sister. And we've been raising this baby for years. And we've been subjected to releasing her to this man because the court would not suspend his visitation. He was verbally abusive to this girl. He was punching on the son he was beating these kids he was verbally abusive to his daughter and we've went several times to the court for years we've got police reports we've done everything that we could possibly do to stop this man from having access to these kids and the court did nothing they did nothing they failed us the court failed us they failed our money and i'm so upset I'm so upset. I am calling everybody that is a leader of a church in Brooklyn, a leader of churches in Brooklyn, everybody. I need everybody to come tomorrow with me to protest this church. How can in the world could you want to go and have service tomorrow? How could you want to go into that building and 
clap and praise God. How could you want to do that in that building tomorrow? Knowing that this place was used for torment to a child. I am going to be there tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock protesting. There should not be any church tomorrow. I had the news coming. I do have the news coming. The news will be there. The father has been charged. We want the bishop charged because he's been raping his daughter. He's been raping... <coughs> raping women in the church too i need people to come forward i need you to come forward if you were a, a victim if you know someone that was a victim of ben t gibson of matthew t matthew antonio gibson either one of these two men i'll post both of their pictures in a minute i need you to come forward you can come forward to me in secrecy you can inbox me i need this to go viral because this is not okay for the church to be used in such a way to deem to, to tear a child apart like this it doesn't make any sense to me i'm so disgusted i'm so disgusted i'm so disgusted this is not what church is about this is not what church is for the bible says a bishop <coughs> in order to be a bishop should be blameless you should, you're supposed to be blameless you're supposed to be blameless and he's not blameless as a bishop he is a predator he is a rapist he is a child molester and he needs to be brought to justice as well i am so hurt i am so hurt i never in a million years imagined that this was gonna happen that this was happening there were so many men that are being demonized for being homosexuals and being gay and the church is condemning these men when they were victims of sexual abuse and sexual assault and this is the reason why they are the way that they are i am so disgusted and i just cannot believe i cannot believe that this is what the church was going this is what the church is being used for not a safe haven for children. Children should feel so safe. I grew up in church. I never was violated in the church. My home churches were Booker Street Church of God and Clarence Street Church of God. And I never was subjected to this. I don't know what's happening. Where is the holiness? Me personally, Tony Harvin. I see a lot of people, you know, speaking on the R. Kelly situation when clearly there are so many so-called pastors out there committing the same crimes and incidents as R. Kelly has done. But most of the church members are afraid to speak out. You know, it's sad when you've got child molesters, rapists right there in the pulpit who call themselves preaching and teaching the word of God. Now, forget being a pastor, forget holding the title as a bishop, forget holding the title as a deacon but as a man as a father as a real dad you're supposed to be there to, to protect your daughter not to c commit such a, a, a action such as that you know this is tony harvin i am concluding feel free to share your thoughts and or your comments on this video thank you all for listening and god bless